Hello folks, so uh, we're going to look at a new tent today. This is the uh, One Tigris North Gaze. It's a uh, chimney tent or pot tent and um, it's a four to six person tent apparently. But uh, One Tigris, I wrote to them because my previous hot tent had a few holes in it where I've been using it around the campfire and stuff and they said have a new one. Today I'm going to pitch it for the first time, have a little look around it. Uh, I don't have a stove with me for it today but we'll uh, pick the stove bit up uh, at a later date. But uh, yeah, I just want to get it set up and uh, show you what it looks like. It weighs just over two kilos, which, you know, for a one-man tent, that's quite heavy, but for a four-person tent, you know, that's pretty light. Uh, it's 3,000 hydrostatic head, I think. Um, I'll go through the specs properly in a bit, but it's just started raining, so, I'm going to get on, otherwise I will get wet. But uh, yeah, this is the One Tigris North Gaze chimney tent. Let's have a look and see what it's like. I don't believe it has a ground sheet, so I've bought a separate ground sheet for it, because obviously it's a hot tent, so you put a stove in there, so you don't really want a plastic sheet on the bottom. But I'm in a sweet chestnut forest and uh, you know, the ground is covered in this kind of thing, sharp stuff. So um, I'm gonna clear a big spot. I think the tent is about three meters wide. So it's a monster, um, but it's, you know, ideal for, you know, me and a dog, me and another person perhaps, maybe even Mrs. CLB sometime this winter. So yeah, I'm gonna clear a spot and then we'll pitch it and have a little look around it, see what it's like. Yeah, shout out One Tigris. Thank you for supplying me with a brand new tent. Okay, we've got pegs. We've got the fly and a pole. That's pretty cool. Pole's got a um, a knobbly bit on the end. That's my previous hot tent had uh, just the pole and um, I was worried that it was going to you know push up through the main body of the tent but got a soft I don't know what material that is but that's pretty cool look at the size of it it's taller than me might be able to stand up in it Right, instructions say, lay it out on the floor and spread it out. I think that's the door. You've got a decent array of pegs. And guy lines and we've got some instructions and the instructions say that there's a positioning cord that you peg out first that goes across the middle horizontally so let's do that so that's the positioning cord clips on and clips off as you like so if we go there Gives us the horizontal axis. Now stake the four marked corners. Okay, so we do the middle two. So this pole is two meters long. So we've just got to push this up in the middle and that should do us. I've got to find my way in. Okay. 
yes there's a big and obvious bit that, that sits in and up we go It's a beast. So yeah, I can stand up inside it just about. I need to tie on guy lines and such, but I think um, definitely get two in there for sure. That is a monster. Right, I was going to finish the setup, tie on some guy lines and stuff, and, uh, and then we'll have a proper good look round it. Okay, that's it, it's up properly, as it were. Um, yeah, so I, I can stand up inside as long as I stand right next to the pole, but you know, it's okay, it's good for um, getting changed and whatnot. Uh, yeah, things I've noticed, what have I noticed? Yeah, got snow skirts around all of the base of it except for this little front section. You've got a vent front and back, which has got like a hardened, I don't know what that is, but a bit that keeps it up and open, and then you can close it with Velcro and reopen it at your leisure. It's got a loop on the top for hanging, like suspending it to do away with that middle pole, but I'm not sure I'd want to suspend something this big just from a bit of string personally. But, um, yeah, it's, it's an option. So you've got the stove jack, which is sort of built in, supplied as it were. And um, yeah, you just unzip this front bit. You roll that down and tuck it away. And then the stove pipe will come out of there. Uh, two doors. And um, so if the stove is this side, then I guess this is easy for, you know, loading your wood in and out if you were using a stove with it. This front section, I don't supply the um, poles for it, which is a shame, but um, yeah, the whole front section has got, uh, it's got grommets on these two bits and it's got loops on the outer bits where the doors are, because the doors are all tucked into this. But this whole bit can lift right up if you had the relevant poles or I guess a couple of sticks, which I might do at some point, but I'm a bit short of time at the moment. Um, but you can create, you know, one massive awning out the front here, which is pretty cool uh, and do away with all this front section and just be sleeping in the back. If I get round to it, I will do it tonight, but it's going to be dark soon, so, you know, we'll see. But, um, yeah, the guide thing that runs across the middle I wonder if that would get in the way, but it just unclips. So I guess you can kind of use it to put it up and then unclip it and just chuck it to one side. Um, so it's a good option. But yeah, it's a beast. I say it's two meters tall in the middle and three meters across, I believe. So um, yeah, you could, I think you could definitely get four people in here. It says four to six. I think six might be pushing it, but four definitely because there is quite a lot of room in here. But I wouldn't want to have six people in here with all the gear and everything. I think it'd be tight. Uh, yes, anyway, I'm going to get on with my camping trip. Um, I'll bring this out again and we'll um, stick a stove in it and stuff and see how she fares. But this is first pitch, first night. And uh, yeah, looks all right.
So first night in the uh, North Gaze. It's certainly roomy. But uh, here was a bit of condensation, which was a bit strange because it's a massive tent. And I wouldn't have thought there would be, but it rained most of the night. <coughs> but um, not heavy, just just drizzled. But uh, yeah, when I woke up this morning, my sleeping bag was a bit damp on the outside. Um, don't know whether that's just the nature of the conditions at the moment because it's it's uh, autumn and just everything's a bit moist anyway. But yeah, definitely got a lot of room. Be very comfortable, I think, for two people and their stuff and chairs and all. I'll um, I'll try it with the stove and see how I get on with that. First impressions, you know, for a two, three, four man tent, it's uh, the fact that it only weighs two kilos is decent. Time will tell, you know, how much I love it, but I'm pretty pleased with it so far. Just got to put it all back in the bag. But yeah, thank you for watching. This was uh, just a kind of a show and tell video. I haven't really formed a strong opinion on it, but it's okay. So, yeah, I'll do a follow up once I've used it a bit more. I'll see you next time.